so this video is really important because I'm about ready to let you in on a secret that the government does not want you to find out. You see, the Earth doesn't revolve around the sun. The sun revolves around the Earth. They don't want you to know, but I'm going to show you. And the proof is in this documentary. Everything we think we know about our universe is wrong. We are in a special place. I do believe that the universe was created by God. Now, before we get into the details of proving that the Earth is a center of everything, that everything I want to talk to you guys about, well, God created it. And the only reason why people try to deny this fact is because they're afraid. They're scared. Because they know that science is threatened by God. Religion disproves so many things in science. Right? Science has said you must stay over in this category here and you cannot go into the God category because that's going to destroy our science. Oh man, you know what? I think I had that wrong. I think actually it's the other way around. I think it's that science kind of threatens religion because science is what proves religion wrong. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I had that totally switched. Like some people like to think that the earth is the center of everything and science has clearly proven that to be wrong and some people don't really know that yet. You can go on some websites of NASA and see that they've started to take down stuff that might hint to a geocentric universe. See, that's proof right there. The government is trying to hide information proven that we are at the center of the universe. It's a conspiracy. Oh yeah, and an important point, the actual scientists quoted and depicted didn't say anything even close to endorsing geocentrism. In fact, a lot of people who took part were actually tricked into doing so. So don't panic, no one with half a brain in the 21st century actually believes that the sun revolves around the Earth. We may be very special, but that doesn't mean the universe was created just for us. This idea that we're not in any special place in the universe, there's something wrong with that. So they set up this satellite and they find out these temperature disturbances throughout the universe were all pointing to the Earth. Okay, let me see if I can explain this in a very basic way. We are on planet Earth, right? We are seeing things from the perspective of somebody on planet Earth, right? That does not mean that what we are seeing is being pointed specifically at us. It just means that that's the point of reference that we happen to be at. If I'm standing in a dark room and I'm holding a flashlight, let's say that that flashlight only has enough power to reach five feet ahead of me. Everywhere I turn, I'm only going to see five feet ahead of me. It may appear that I'm only in the center of what I can see because everything I see is exactly five feet from me, no matter which way I turn. But I could be in the corner of a room. So saying that you can only see a certain distance or you can only observe heat waves from a certain distance and you seem to be the center, that's just because you're the reference point. It doesn't mean you're at the center of anything. When I see how barren the other planets are and how bountiful the Earth is, something's different and we're in the, just the right spot. We seem to find ourselves in a part of the universe that is perfectly yes, tuned for life. Yes. This whole thing reminds me of a famous Douglas Adams quote where he compares a puddle to people who think the earth was designed just for us. Imagine if you were a puddle and you're like, wow, I'm a puddle in this hole. This hole was perfectly tuned, fine tuned, just to fit me. How good is God? God is great. But then what happens? People start to think that God is gonna take care of everything for them. They don't recycle, they don't worry about global warming, they don't do anything to prevent bad things from happening because they think God's gonna take care of it for them. So what's gonna happen to that puddle? The sun's gonna rise and it's gonna evaporate. Gradually, the puddle gets smaller and smaller, frantically hanging on to the notion that everything's going to be all right because this world was meant to have him in it, was built to have him in it. So the moment he disappears catches him rather by surprise. I think that this may be something we need to be on the watch out for. Life is extremely rare and that we are in fact the only life in our entire universe. Now I actually think we're very significant. We're the only life in the entire universe? Wow. This guy is a genius. He must have worked so hard to search the entire universe to then discover that we were the only life here. Wow, that's just fascinating. Spring 2014, I can't wait. Are you significant? Okay, cool. Next, let's make a documentary about dragons, unicorns, and the tooth fairy. And the best part, I can't wait for the sequel. Flat Earth, how the world's population is being tricked by scientists. Gravity, the illusion of falling. Miracles, because you've never seen God get arrested for breaking the laws. 
of physics. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. But really quick before I go, I want to tell you about a really cool website that I've been spending a lot of time on called Opinion Outpost. You can receive rewards like cash, iTunes gift cards, or even Amazon gift cards just for giving your opinion and it's totally free to join. And you don't want to miss their email, so make sure you click the promotions tab in Gmail to make sure you're getting emails from Opinion Outpost. And the reason why this works is because research companies need your opinion on topics like food, TV, movies, new products, and even politics. And I know you guys have a lot to say about politics. And there's a $10,000 quarterly prize for active members so every time you participate in a survey you get an entry into the drawing and there's no limit on the amount of entries anyone can earn so make sure to click the link in my description box below to check out opinion outpost also make sure you like this video share it everywhere tell me what you think in the comment section below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also check out my website at www.jacklinglen.com thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye there's no god